Well, one thing about our Winter Olympic team members is already clear. Sheer determination has been the main factor in getting them into the team for Calgary. Our bobsleigh team, for instance, is giving away years of experience, but already they've turned in solid performances in the World Cup European circuit as they continue their non-stop training for their Winter Olympic debut. After only two seasons of bobsleigh racing, Australia's Olympic team has finished just two seconds outside the world's best in round three of the World Cup at Innsbruck. The six-member team is the youngest in the 30-nation entry for the Winter Olympics in Canada next month, and following the World Cup performances, team captain Adrian Di Piazza says they won't be in Calgary just to make up the numbers. We're slowly building into a really competent and competitive unit. Uh, you can't just uh, fit a whole lot of guys and throw them into a sled and expect them to, to be competitive. It takes time and uh, this team, the base of it now, has been together for two seasons. Uh, we're all working and getting better and stronger and our, our start times and our down times have improved markedly from last year to this year. As they head for Calgary, let's hope those times continue to bridge the Olympic gap. Graham Hughes, Eyewitness News. Well, that's sport. Back to you, Ronald. After years of practicing with a makeshift sled in a Sydney car park, the Australian bobsleigh team is finally making its mark where the action is, in the European Alps. In the World Championships, underway on the Austrian ski fields, the Aussies are showing some of the world's best what they can do. The competition is a warm-up for the Calgary Olympics next month. In this round, their time was only two seconds behind the winners. It's a sport filled with its share of thrills and spills, and every now and then, some embarrassing moments. Despite a valiant attempt to regain his lost pride, this Soviet competitor was fighting a losing battle. Ah, oh dear. That's Tuesday's edition of National Nine News. I'm Eric Walters. Good night. Next month's Winter Olympics will provide the stage for a remarkable success story. The Australian bobsleigh team, the youngest of 30 competing nations, has overcome enormous odds to make its Olympic debut. The bobsleigh reaches speeds of 130 kilometres per hour. It's a dangerous sport. But it also has its light moments, especially when the driver gets left behind. Australia is fielding an Olympic bobsleigh team for the first time. For the past two years, four young Australians have been taking on the champions from East Germany, Austria and Switzerland with encouraging results. At this early stage of development, medals are out of the question. Competing and performing well at Calgary is the motivation. Uh, hopefully we can get both A1 and A2, the two two-man sleds, into the top two-thirds of the field. Uh, if we can get a similar result for the Australia one four-man sled, uh, we'll be very happy. Uh, that's our goal, to finish about two-thirds of the way through the field. If we finish a bit higher, that'll be a bonus. The Australians are currently preparing for the European Championships in Sarajevo. After that, it's the Winter Olympics, and for them, a tiny slice of history.